have a new app, TestTube app. It's the, the perfect app for streaming, commenting on, favoriting all of your favorite TestTube shows. Shows, yes. Check it out because we want to hear your feedback, see if you're loving it as much as we are or not. In fact, I'm using it right now. So let us know what you think about it. Check it out in the App Store and uh, get TestTube and Appin. That song was one of the first dastardly tunes to be used for ill will by the internet. But how else has humanity used music as a weapon? If you've ever been rickrolled, clicking on a misleading link only to be assaulted by the song and never gonna give you up, then you're already familiar with the idea that music can be used to curdle the brain. One of the reasons never gonna give you up is so annoying is that it has all the hallmarks of an earworm. It's simple, upbeat, and repetitive, but at least the listener can quickly make it go away. During the 1993 months-long siege at Waco, the FBI blasted music at the Branch Davidians with songs ranging from Christmas carols to These Boots Are Made For Walking by Nancy Sinatra. This kind of PSYOPs is considered torture light, and it's been used in conjunction with other tactics like sleep deprivation and strobe lighting, all of this during standoffs or prisoner interrogations. According to Danny Gallagher, writing for the Wall Street Journal, music was regularly used in interrogations on bases in Iraq and Afghanistan as a method of inducing disorientation to get suspects to talk without inflicting physical force. So how could music, one of the purest pleasures of the human species, become such a potent force in breaking down a person? Ten different areas of the brain are responsible for processing music, everything from the cerebellum to the prefrontal cortex. When you listen to a tune, you're not only accessing memories associated with it, but you're also trying to anticipate what's coming next. Pair that with your visual and motor cortexes processing the music as motion, and you, my friend, have a full body music experience. And when you listen to something like a repetitive song, your brain is put on a loop, like a hamster on a wheel, effectively making time seem to pass incredibly slow, since your brain can anticipate exactly what's coming next for what feels like forever. Now consider that music played above 95 decibels can cognitively impair your mind with mental and physical reaction times reduced by 20%. Think of incredibly loud house music thumping in the background. Now imagine that same house music playing for 14 hours straight. There's even a class of music in PSYOPs interrogation called futility music. And the song I Love You by the Purple Dinosaur Barney is one of the standout tunes. Along with ACDC's Hell's Bells and Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA. Those are all cases in which a person or people were contained. So what about those who are milling about, possibly protesting? That's when sound cannons are used, or long-range acoustic devices, and they're used to disperse crowds. The device can deliver a 150 decibel beam crossing the threshold of human pain. Which is pretty significant, since according to the National Institute on Deafness and Other Communication Disorders, any sound over 90 decibels can damage a person's hearing. So is there a better way to cause a group of people to cognitively change gears and stop what they're doing? Could the dulcet tones of Doris Day be the answer? During the Korean War, American soldiers rolled out loudspeakers in times of heavy combat. Suddenly, songs like the mellow, martini-soaked Fly Me to the Moon permeated the air. According to Dr. Charles H. Briscoe, Doris Day had a quieting effect on the Chinese soldiers, possibly decentering them with such out-of-place melodies. So what about you? What's a piece of music that stabs you directly in the brain like a weapon? For me, it's gotta be that Yo Gabba Gabba Wiggle 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 Stop song. And if you wanna check out more about music and psychology, check out this video about scary music. And the in the meantime, you can leave us a comment below, you can subscribe, and don't forget to eat your vegetables!